www.decibets.com Hi, I'm Sorinda Bacon, reporting for Decibets.com. We're here in London at the National Theatre to talk about and meet the cast and crew of the new play Behind the Beautiful Forevers, starring our very own Mira Sayal. So we're going to pick it up partway through the first half. Um, what has already been established is uh, the world of uh, sorting, uh, picking rubbish, sorting rubbish, and the establishment of Anna Wadi, which is the, the slum. Was it difficult for you to imagine it on stage? It just seemed the noise, the smell, the dirt, the rubbish of a, a slum. Like any epic new play, it's a, it's a it's a challenge to try and find uh, how to how to realise that. Fortunately, um, David Hare has done this before, so uh, it, you know it, it. We've got a we, you know it's a, it's a good bunch of people on it. Abdul is the best sorter in the district. My dullest son, Abdul, and the hardest working. Three years ago, the monsoon came. Anavadi was underwater. We lost everything, but we rebuilt. We started again. I think you know this is very specific. It's it, what's what's really the big danger in it is that the purpose of doing it, which is to reveal the degree to which these people uh, in this situation have every uh, you know have every strand of complexity in their lives that we have. Uh, it's just they're in a very very different situation in terms of ambition or the complications of you know family and neighbours and everything else uh, it's all going on the first question I had for David is why did you why did you get into this and I'll paraphrase him terribly but it was along those lines to show that people in poverty are as complex and rich in thought and uh, uh, and humanity as, as we are these new trucks I get shot driving down the centre of the road picking up everything clean up the city hey you mind that's our job, that's our livelihood. When you fly into Mumbai, we'll be playing to an audience that fly into Mumbai, and you see those blue tarpaulins, to humanise that, to understand that this, it's the yin and yang. We can't have, live the lives that we live without, without somebody uh, on the other end of the scales, these scales, uh, uh, balancing that out. And that, that is, you know, yes, there's loads of scenes, scene changes and all the rest of it, you can see the rubbish around it, everything else. Uh, but that, that's the main challenge. Women have rights. I have rights. From bed, nobody loved me. From the very beginning, everybody told me I was born wrong and I believed them. I was ashamed. I hated myself because I wasn't even a person. I was an animal. You talked about the, the smells and the sounds and the dirt and the, everything that a story about Mumbai might entail. Um, do you know, it's, it's, it's really cool to have a rehearsal where the cast and the director talk about that all the time. Every rehearsal we have, we talk about now, what is the hair, what are the authentic noises, the authentic smells. And, and between the cast of 24, 25, however many we are, we're all fairly... We've all been to Mumbai a few times, you know, some of us have lived there and some of us you know, spend more time in, in Mumbai perhaps than in this country. So between us, we're able to, in every rehearsal, to try and authenticate that. And anyone who comes to see the show will hopefully smell the smells and see the sights and be able to feel the grit that we're trying to create on stage. I am not going to let you get away with it. It is not going to happen. It is going to happen. 